Hello everyone. I am just sitting down to do a little bit of work in my retrospective junk planner, collage calendar, whatever we're going to call it. I still don't know and it's been absolutely years. Um, but I'm going to just sit down and do a little work in this today and I thought I would turn the camera on. And so I thought I would just share with you where I'm kind of up to. Do like a little bit of a flip through of what we've got going on. Um, so... This here is the start page, um, it just says retrospective junk planner and then just had some bits stuck down. Um, here is January, so what I do with this is I kind of draw up a calendar in this big um, maths school grid book, you know, thing. Um, and every day I try, and, I don't do this every day, I do it in big chunks, kind of, um, but it's about every day. And I just sort of put something on each of the squares. Um, they overlap, it's very messy and scrappy, but I love it, um, I, I really love this book. It just kind of gives me an overview of the whole month. So this is January um, for this year, then I did a collage page about strawberries, and this has taken me the entire year so far to finish, um, and it's, you know, there's a few spots, but it's pretty well done now. I am happy with that. So that is a collage page. There was meant to be more of them. There was meant to be a collage page between each month. But I have glued some together because I just haven't done them. And I know that I'm probably not going to. So here is February. Um, this little square I still need to fill in. I wanted to get a photo of my sister and my brother-in-law um, on their wedding to stick in here. Because this is their anniversary. And I just have not done it yet. So I need to do that. Uh, this this page here is going to be a collage page about chickens, which I've started, but not a lot is done yet. Um, here is March. I love kind of having a vague colour theme happening, but I mean, that doesn't always happen. But I do like this, how there's a lot of green happening in here. Um, over here, this is where it's glued together, and we go straight over to April. Um, this is just super fun. I love looking at these. This one you can see has a lot more like orange and warm goldy yellowy tones to it here we've got what were we at april before is this may may um this one's got a lot of pink in it i mean it doesn't just have pink it's mostly just the grid really that's pink but it still gives the whole page a grid look um yeah so love that here is my page about tea and coffee um super love tea and coffee so we've got that's pretty well finished again there's like some gaps but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with that one. If nothing more happens on it, I'm I'm good with it. Here we've got June. Um, I love adding little flippity bits, little interactive elements to this. Um, this one's all completed. Here is July. Big and full again with bits that sort of flip, flip down here and there. Love that. Here is August. August is all finished. Um, Again, little flippy bits around the page. I love that. Um, this one's going to be flowers. I've got a lot more I can stick on here. I just have not yet stuck the things down on this one. Um, over here we've got September, which is almost done. As you can see, I've just got the last two days left of September to go back and complete. Uh, here I did a vision board for myself, um, which was really fun. I absolutely love this vision board, and I did this over on Patreon. Um, yeah, that was super, super fun to do. Um, and then here is October. As you can see, it's empty, other than just this big word that says October. So I am thinking I am just going to throw on a little episode of something on my phone um, while I kind of work in this, and then I'll just do like a little voiceover for this, and we can work together in my collage, junk, retrospective, planner, whatever it is, um, and we can work on this together. So we will finish up the last little bit of September and just make a start in October and see where we get up to. So I hope you guys enjoy um, having a look through this book and working in it with me. Hello from VoiceOver Lydia. We are working on the end of September here. Um, on that day, the 29th, I was driving with a friend of mine and I was like, oh, something is wrong. Um, and so we pulled over and we were checking my tires and yeah, I had a puncture and one was like getting really low. Um, but we still had like 20 minutes left of driving before we could get somewhere to 
fill it up again. But yeah, luckily I, I'm useless and I actually didn't know how to fill my tires with air. Um, but fortunately my friend did. So when we got to, into the little town, um, she showed me how to do it and the PSI or whatever it is in my tire is supposed to be like 32 to 34. And, um, when we got to that little town, it was at eight. So it was super flat. Um, so I put those tires down the bottom there to represent that and I wrote clay class because it was, um, we were going to that little town together because we do a pottery class together um, and so I was just, you know, kind of documenting that there on, on this. When I'm doing these, I'm obviously not going to try and document everything in my day into that one little square because I'm also journaling. I've got a documentation of my whole day in my journals. This is just sort of like a month at a glance kind of a situation where I just have a bunch of stuff down and it's going to be just a little bit, a little taster of something that happened in the day. It's not going to be everything. It's just going to be one or two things that happened in my day and it doesn't have to be the most important thing. It doesn't have to be anything of interest. It's just something, something from my day. And if nothing is really coming up for me that I want to document. I'll just put a random picture or something down that I like. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything really serious. This is just creative fun for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's just about having fun and doing something I enjoy and just sort of getting creating for the sake of creating. So um, that Your Light Brings Magic to the World is a sticker that I'd made for some Patreon printables. I'm now just sort of filling in gaps with some stickers that I had. I'm always trying to use up some stickers I honestly have so many stickers, guys, like a ridiculous number of stickers. I love them. I buy them all the time. I'm a sticker hoarder. It's a problem. Um, so I just kind of love this whole layout thing just to like dump stickers down onto the page. I find that really, really fun. Here I used up, there was just four stickers on this little mini sticker sheet and I was like, right, I'm going to use all four of them on this, just adding it in everywhere, and then that little sticker sheet can go in the recycling. So that's, it's really a great way to use up, particularly those like random stickers that you're like, huh, where would I ever use this? It can go on this. This is not too serious. It doesn't have to be perfect and it have to be super accurate. Um, so it's, it's a good spot to just like put down the things that you've got too much of that you don't know where it needs to go. Um, that big orange scribbly, squiggly thing was from, I had watched a video um, that Belinda, my friend from Visualized NZ, had done, and where she had done these like big scribbles and then you color in all of the little sections. And I was like, that looks really relaxing and fun. And so I did some of that and I kind of cut out, cut them out. I used some of them in my regular journal as like photo mats. Um, and then I used one there just to document the month. And I loved the orange for this because October to me is a very orange month. I don't typically really associate colors with months other than like October with Halloween and Christmas, that red and green kind of vibe. Um, I do put that with as a Christmas color, but and, and maybe actually February a little bit of the pinks and reds for Valentine's Day. But typically I don't really have a colour for a month. But that orange just really did scream that Halloween to me. Even though it's not fall or autumn here in New Zealand, it's spring. Um, I don't know, it still just really does seem like an October colour for me. Um, there's that little journal I stuck down because I'd done a little filming of my journal that day. I've stuck down coffee mugs. And a lot of places actually on this page I end up sticking coffee mugs because... I've been having a lot of coffee with my mum recently, which is so nice. Um, digging back through my little magazine cutouts, I kind of have them separated into little categories here. This category I'm searching through is like food and drinks kind of category and also like baking and cutlery and just anything related to food really goes into that container. I also have a botanicals floral container. I have a container of like everyday items, like things that honestly could be used on just about any day. I have a container of like cute animals and people. I have a container of like kind of magically looking things that I use for art journaling more specifically. And I have another little container um, for words, like whole words that I cut out of magazines as well. So I just kind of shuffle through all of those containers and find things that I think um, line up with things that happened during this month so far. Um, the day I'm filming this was the 14th. 
So we can only get up to the 14th here. I don't know what day this is going to post up on YouTube, but um, it was the 14th when I was filming this. And so we don't go much past that. I did stick that um, cheese thing down on the 15th um, because that actually is... Um, my husband was going to be doing some cheese making that um, on the Saturday. I knew already that he was going to be cheese making that day. So I stuck that down there. Um, I think there was another, oh, potentially I didn't end up sticking it down actually. I had another thing that was floating around on the Sunday that I'm probably going to stick in, but it's dependent on if the thing that might happen on Sunday actually happens, but I think it will. Um, there I put that camera up on the first. I think I had done some filming. No, I hadn't done filming. I was looking at my friend's wedding photos and that was like the closest thing I had to something to represent my friend's wedding photos was a camera. Um, a lot of the things at the top, because they're not specific days, they're just before the month starts. I'll just kind of stick in anything that I like. I actually should have put more like spooky stuff up there because obviously October is the whole Halloween-y spooky month. Um, but I haven't. I've just stuck random stuff down. It's just really what's on my desk or what I've got around, what's in my bins that I've got nearby. Um, I just basically use this as like a dumping ground for me to just throw down anything that I can find. I like to number all of the little sort of areas so it's each one as a date. Um, so you'll see me and you can already see a few numbers stuck down. Um, but I'm going to be going through and sticking down little numbers to act as date stickers. Sorry, you, you get what I'm saying. To act as dates. Um, and they are stickers. Um, and yeah, they work well for me to just sort of help keep a track. Because obviously I overlap a lot. So you don't really see that yellow grid that I had drawn in in the background that kind of separates out the days. They It kind of disappears a little bit. Um, so I do date it to kind of keep a track of what day everything's on. You'll also see a little later, I do go back in with coloring pens, like markers, and um, color in the background of the squares in different colors to help break up the different squares as well. You'll see I do do that a little bit later on. Um, I'm trying here, you can see adding some more of my spooky stickers in to kind of make that Halloween-y vibes happen. I had this set of stickers that say change on and then each day of the week, and I'm just using them to mark off the strips for each day. I did not have a Sunday, but I had. I found that that Saturday was too big, so I just cut it off and used that bottom part and wrote Sunday on it. And that works fine for me. Like I said, I'm not precious about this. This is just for me to throw stuff down and, um, you know, enjoy myself in this journal kind of calendar-y thing. Actually doing this on a calendar would be quite fun as well. Um, I've never tried it on an actual like purchased calendar where you can decorate up the grid. I don't know, that could be a fun idea maybe for next year. I'll think about it. I do also really love doing it in these books. They've got a great amount of space in these books, which is really, really fun. Using a calendar might be a little bit space restrictive potentially. I'm not sure. Um, here you see I have my alphabet stickers and I'm writing out words. I, I use anything I can to mark off what happened in the day. That is a weird sticker I have of milk tea injection. Um, and I had boba that day, so I don't know where I would ever use that sticker. It's a really weird one. So I just popped it there on that day to represent my boba. That's a little grumpy guy and I was kind of grumpy yesterday evening. So, um, just documenting all sorts of things. Anything I can come up with, I definitely use my journal to go back and look through and remind myself of what I did on each day. I also have my little notes um, diary thing that's really helpful for helping me remember what happens on all of the days so I don't have to do them every day. I mean you can tell I do not do this every day. I was nearly three weeks behind in this um, and I'm fine with that because I know I've got everything written down and I will always find a time where I've got a bit of spare time and I can get into this book and just fill it in so that's really fun. I had those little alphabet stickers and I was writing in the word curds because my husband brought home a whole lot of delish cheese curds that day. It was so good. Um, I am trying to not just eat a million of them um, and failing miserably. I am eating a million of them. They're so good. found this starry sticker sheet um, and it didn't have many stars left on it. There was quite a few that were like really bent and, you know, 
munted. Um, so I just went through with that sticker sheet and just used them all up, put the stars everywhere. They're only in the top half because that's where I was working. But that's okay. I'm not worried about the fact that the bottom half won't have any of those star stickers. I've got plenty of things that I can spread around. So those star stickers got all used up and then the packaging could go in the bin. Um, there I had a little cat paw sticker. That means nothing. I just put it on to fill in a little bit of the space. Like I said, I'm always using stickers to just fill in space. Look, I've got washi tape on my elbow. Did you see it? That's so me. I often will go to my sister's house and my niece will be like, Mm -mm, and point to something on my cardigan or top or whatever and it's just like I've got a wad of washi tape stuck to me or threads from my sewing machine or I don't know I'm covered in craft supplies always um I'm a mess um so here I'm sticking down a little leftover scrap of paper that I'd used in my journal this was a photo I'd taken of my alcohol markers um and they fit in that little gap so I just threw them down there I'd, on that Monday that you can see there I had been um, doing a lot of colouring in with the kiddo who was staying with me and we were using my alcohol markers. And then this day I am writing town because we went into the city this day and had boba and I dropped that kiddo back at, with her mum. Um, so that's helping me document that and the date was the 11th that day. So sticking those numbers down on there. Um, here you can see what I meant about earlier with me sectioning out the different days by using marker to kind of using different colored markers to help me section out where each day is. So I do a lot more of this. I'm grabbing out my markers and I'm just not putting the same colors next to each other because then it doesn't help section the days at all. But if I separate them out, then you can kind of see what day is represented in which area. I'm finding it really helpful with my, you know, separating out the days. I really like the color it adds to the page. Um, I tried to choose kind of Halloween colors, a lot of oranges, yellows, greens, um, a little bit of this light blue as well, which is less Halloween, but still fun. We had a lot of snow in that time and that color just really seemed to match the snow in my opinion. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm going about making sure that those lines of separation still are visible. You can you can see where one day starts and where the next day starts. That makes no sense, but I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Where one day begins and the other one ends? No. I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. My brain is fried. Um, but I'm using colour to mark out the days. Blah. We are coming along to the end of this video now. As you probably noticed, I have another bit of washi tape stuck to my other arm as well. So that's really cool for me. Or maybe it's a scrap piece of paper that had glue on it. I don't know. Something cool though. Um, <laughs> always something stuck on my arm. So, well, like I said, we're coming to the end of the video. I'm just sort of coloring in. I've got my days pretty well on track now. I'm really pleased with that. I'm so glad I managed to make some time to get into this retrospective junk planner, collage calendar, whatever. Um, it's really fun and relaxing and it, I love it. I love how it looks when it's all like super full and messy and I don't know, I just really enjoy it. So I hope you guys do too. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing this video and seeing what I'm doing. Um, this is one I, I recommend. It's super fun. Maybe, um, I mean, start whenever you want, but the end of the year is coming up fast. So maybe if this is not something you've done before, it could be a journal that you might want to add to your 2023 journal lineup. This book cost me like 90 cents or something. Like it's just a cheap school book. And I just went through and glued some page together. Not all, just some of them together and drew these messy scribbly grids and made like a calendar thing. I don't know. It's just really, really easy. Really, really fun. Um, and a great way of using up scraps and images and stickers and just bits that you've got floating around on your desk that you don't know what to do with. 
Anyway, guys, this is the end now. Like I've said like nine times, I hope you guys are doing well. And I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye!